and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Now, apparently, we don't have either of my co-hosts with me today. I knew Danny wasn't going to be here, but I guess Minda wasn't able to come as well. Oh, and I completely forgot about that. So, today's Dungeons with Fans, uh, Mango Poorly. Um, Mango Poorly, without guidance on mechanics. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see how far we get. I have the four dungeons and what quests I need. Um, I need to, uh, accept to do them in a list in the co-op crew server. Um, which dungeons haven't you done? Let me pull it up. Uh, Stone Vigil Hard, Sastasha Hard. Sunken Temple of Karn Hard and Wanderer's Palace Hard are the ones I haven't done. Most of those are fine, but might be less fine minimum item level. Okay. Well, we'll try some of them, some of them on minimum item level, and if we can't do them, we uh, we'll have to switch to normal. So close to one, two, three. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's go accept the quest. Uh, back in Mordona. Now, uh, let's be Black Mage, is what we're going to do. Alright, Stone Vigil Hard. Quest, Blood for Stone, from Fallacy and Mordona. I'm guessing that's in the Rising Stones. Fallacy. There you are. Blood for Stone. I seek a certain adventurer for a cause most just. Are you not lore? <laughs> I thought you had the right aspect. Twas you who played the thief in the night at the Stone Vigil. The dragons guard their keep jealously, it said, yet you slipped unseen into the cloudy fortress. Twill not be their keep for much longer, however. The forces of Ishgard amass by the sea of clouds. Now, this is for your ears only, but the blockade is but a prelude to an attack. Lord Dreamon commands the siege, and he would have your counsel. I am but one of many who seek you at his behest. You must be a woman of rare quality. The proud knights of Durandare are not accustomed to taking, let alone seeking, outside help. Ishgard's is the cradle air I breathe, and I yearn to see the stone vigil reclaimed from the Dravanian horde. Will you not go to Whitebrim Front and aid Lord Dreamon? Sounds good. Okay. All right, and to the west. Oh, great, the Elizin Mount for the Elizin area. Oh, 
Oh, right, in this keep. Oh, up there, okay. That's trippy. All right. Uh, I'm saving the 10th anniversary stuff for uh, a week when Mint and Danny are here. Also because uh, I try to do Dungeons with Fans on days when they aren't here. All right, I guess this guy's down this way. Aha! Nice, Melina. Lore Weaver, you have come to lend us your strength. House Durandare is in your debt. You will rejoice with us to know that the battle for the Stone Vigil has finally begun. The first wave has already breached the outer defenses and entered the keep. As depraved a foe as the Dravanians are, they have a certain cunning. The place teems with unbelievers who gladly embrace death merely to deny us a foam of advance. We came to slay dogs and are bled by nits. There are graver matters still. After our first wave stormed the keep, the enemy sealed the breach behind them. The vigil headgate is now a welter of molten iron and stones sharp as a headsman's axe. We can no longer send reinforcements by land. All right, airship time, then. The danger is great, but we must go by air. I shall lead the second wave, and would have you join your strength to ours. Sir Nathalene awaits you near the stone vigil itself. I shall join you as soon as I have seen to the airships. All right, where's the door? Ah, stairs down. More stairs down. Stone Vigil's where we got the Enterprise, right? Back in uh, 2.0. When we were, uh, when we had just re-recruited Sid. Hail, Lord! Lord Dreamon sent word. The airship will not be long in coming. And then, then we charge. All Whitebrim Front knows your name, Lore Weaver, who penetrated the Stone Vigil's defenses. Why, to this very day, I remember the cheer that rang out when we'd heard you'd laid Iskabind low. Your presence here is tonic, pure tonic for the troops. Too long have the damned dragons desecrated our keep. Halliday willing, the Stone Vigil shall return to Ishgard before this day is out. The Stone Vigil hard is now accessible. Uh, all right. So who wants in? I guess there are only two people in chat. Hang on. Let me, uh... There are 13 watching, but only two people speaking in chat. Yeah, I need to materia extract my gear. I'll do that eventually. Oh, I have materia on my hotbar right now. Okay. Alright, so who wants in? 
Speak up and chat if you want in uh, on Stone Vigil Hard. Oh, I got a materia five. Nice. All right, Melina wants in. There are only the two of you on. All right. Melina, invite to party. I do you. You want in? Maybe we should wait a couple of minutes to let people uh, show up from my latest uh, at everyone. Oh, well, there's IGU. I'll send the uh, invite. Tires in another world. Looks like. We've got some people who haven't logged in for quite a while. Yeah, if we can't get four people, um, we'll just do it normal. They're just in the saucer, but if they're AFK, not much to be done with that. Yeah, uh, we'll wait a couple of minutes uh, and then we'll just do it normally. Yeah, telling the dragons the war's over would be an interesting way to solve this this uh, dungeon. Tuck Clegane. We've got a Game of Thrones fan here. All right, last call. Anyone in chat want to join us? Melena, IGU, are you the classes you want to be? Melena, yes. IGU, yes. Well, let us hit in the bathroom. All right, let us know when you're back, and then we'll start.
Man, the lack of music here is a little unnerving. Where's the cool, uh, Kurthus music? Well, it is back. Okay. Too long has the stone vigil been ravished by the Dravanians in their thralls. Too long has House Durandair suffered this infamy. Time has come for its dragoons to retake the fortress. Ten hundred lances and a thousand dreams of vengeance strong. Though the knights of Ishgard breach the gate to find a lodgment within the vigil, the enemy is well defended and amply supplied. This deadlock must be broken, and who better than those who once made free of the fortress under the dragon's very noses and lived to tell the tale? All right, well, we can't do minimum item levels, so let's go. I like that there's little puffs of uh, breath. When you're in the cold. Waiting for a tank for Stone Vigil. There we go. Oh, I just realized this tank's going to be leading the... Uh, Leading the charge, so we may not be able to uh, take time to explain the mechanics to me. Nafu Teotwaki. Hey, St. Ferrum. Hey, Pokemon Freak. Second boss here has some uh, capital M mechanics. Uh-oh. It's not that bad, it's just legacy jank. Gory ditch. Alright, can someone in chat after this fight let our tank know that I'm new and on stream? Uh, learning how this fight goes.
so that they'll be prepared for me to uh, screw things up. Got it. The transition in this track to battle music is pretty cool. Weepy City's the last time they did the uh, battle music transition thing? Well, that's a shame. Got it, okay. Things die too fast for me to take part in these mob pulls. Cannon, oh, cannons are done. Oh, do we have to babysit somebody? Fire cannon to this thing except when it does shield. Okay. Cannon the mobs too. Ow. Alright, I'll take this one.
Oh, now it's shelled, and we gotta kill ads, I assume. Oh, right, I should... I should, uh, birth of the mobs, right. Up oh, shell ow. Ho 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 that's coming for me. Oh no. Uh and won't let me fire. Oh, uh oh. Got it. Nice. What is hitting me? Yeah, I can see how that would have been difficult on minimum item level. Oh, wow, our tank is dead. Well, I killed it. I guess I'll wait for you guys. Main storage vault key. What if I pick this up and somebody attacks me? I'll wait for them to show up before I uh, grab it. Okay, nothing attacked me. Ah, there you guys are. So the Girovig and Ouses. There's a hell of a name. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, 
I wonder who that used to be. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Ha, missed me. Oh, oh, he wants me. Does this guy not get affected by tank aggro? Oh, there's more of them now. Oh, boy. Where's Laura the MSQ? I finished things are there. Ow! I got a stack of infirmity, whatever that means. Oh! Whoops! Did not have an orange circle. Out of the way of that. All right, what's next? Infirmity reduces the healing potency of heals used on you. Oh, that was it? That was the whole fight? Oh, all right, cool. Well, stone visual hard done, I guess. Guy was a test of unmarked telegraphs. It sure was. Robe of divine death. Uh. I'm gonna roll lead on that because it looks like a cool uh, glamour. Cool. Alright, that's one of four down. Time to report to Dreamon then. Oh, Pokemon Freak's gonna fill in the fourth slot. Excellent. Floor. There you are. Lore, I am glad to see you safely returned. By the grace of the Fury and the aid you have given us, we have taken back what is ours. Yet surely you saw what the Dravanians left in their wake. A ruin. A blood-crusted eye in need of much physicking before it can resume watch over the dragons. It will be long and hard work to rebuild the stone vigil. Long and hard. Innuendos! One battle ends, another begins. Our war is a holy one. There is no rest for the pious, except in the arms of the Fury herself.
I think you mean no rest for the wicked awesome. Never shall be depleted the ranks of Ishgard's glorious dead. Never shall the prayers of the righteous be in vain. The dragons will perish. This I swear, my sword's whole and broken. We're a little past this in the story, Dreamon. Keep up. Da, 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 da. All right, up next is Sastasha Hard. So back to Mordona. All right, blows on. It's definitely pirates. By the onion, your lure! You couldn't have come at a better time. A friend of mine sent word that he needs a capable adventurer, you see, and I naturally thought of you. Who's this friend, you ask? Why, well, none other than Commodore Rayner of the Yellow Jackets. He and I met when, uh, back when I first started out as a culinarian, and we've been friends ever since. And he wrote, I'd appreciate it if you'd pay him a visit and inquire as to what he needs doing. You'll find him in the Coral Tower with his yellow jackets. The Coral Tower, huh? Uh, to Limsa. Oh, is that what the Marauders Guild is called? The Coral Tower. Sustacious, uh NM quest was called It's Probably Pirates. This was also a quest called It's Probably Not Pirates or something like it. And now we have It's Definitely Pirates. Frux swears with a pomodor. That's a hell of a lollafell. Good morrow to you, Lore. How timely. There is something I would ask of you. Ah, but where are my manners? Is there aught you require? Here at Blowzong's behest, you say? Ha! <laughs> that he should send you of all people is a stroke of good fortune indeed. Permit me to apprise you of the situation. You will doubtless recall driving the Serpent Reavers out of Sastasha. Well, despite our best efforts to keep the place secure, I regret to inform you that it has been occupied by pirates. Pirates, I say, though eyewitnesses claim that they seemed more akin to fiends from the briny depths. To be frank, we are not wholly certain what it is we are dealing with. I dispatched a party of adventurers to identify and eliminate the threat, but it would seem their courage failed them. But they were not you, my friend. You will fare better against whatever awaits within Sastasha. Of that I have no doubt. If you would be willing to assist us, pray report to Persia, who stands guard by the entrance to the caverns. Sastasha's the one where you fight the Sahagin at the end, right? With the bubble thing that it just dies too fast for anybody to care about. Not quite as bad as the Dragoon quest, where you can meet Astinian who's trying to kill Nidhogg. Well, MSQ-wise, Astinian currently is Nidhogg. But yeah, Dreamon was stuck in the past there. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Okay, well, let's go to the entrance to Sastasha, then. To Aleport! That's weird. Now that I've got, um, rotate camera off to prevent Red Mage from, uh, spinning me around with my back dash, uh, now I can't turn the camera by moving left and right. Oh, that's annoying. 
Oh, that's annoying. Ah, it's you. I think you mean to help us again. Wonderful. You see those adventurers yonder? We sent them in first, but it soon became clear that they were unequal to the task. By my count, they lasted just under a minute inside before staggering back out, sucking for air like fish out of water. As such, we're no closer to ascertaining the nature of the threat, let alone eliminating it. You'll be going in blind, I know, but you've purged Sastasha before, and I'm certain that you can repeat the feat. Enter whenever you're ready. I look forward to hearing of your success. Uh, Cynthia Tabalar, that's you, Pokemon Freak, right? Nice hat, I'm jealous. Oh, there's Molina. Yep, that's me. Cool. Caw, caw. Nice zoo. All right, Cynthia Tavalar invites to parte. All right, well, uh, IGU and Cynthia, you're both healers at the moment. One of you's got to change to tank, unless Molina wants to tank. Oh, Cynthia changed to tank. Cool. Okay. You guys ready for minimum item level? Uh, okay, we've got two two healers in the party. What do you need to be attacked? Oh, I do use a tank now. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, duty find air. Sastasha Hard. Tucked deep inside the dank caverns of the Sastasha Sea Grot, there is a secret port said to have been built by the pirate Mistbeard. In the years following the calamity, the notorious Serpent Reavers claimed it as their lair until the cutthroats were vanquished by a band of dauntless adventurers. The place subsequently came under the control of Lominson authorities, who maintained a security presence within. Alas, that control did not last, for an unknown faction has arisen, seemingly from the briny depths, and overwhelmed the occupying Yellow Jackets. Opinion is divided over the identity of these foes. Some say that they are pirates, while others swear that they are fiends. Yet it does not take a scholar to see that these two things need not be mutually exclusive, like Bokoblin pirates in Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I thought we were going to get to face pirate pirates. Oh, well. All right. Uh, oh, minimal by the model. Silence echo. Confirm. Joy. Sastasha Hard. Oh, that's a cute little toucan thing. I guess maybe it's a flamingo thing? Are those mind flares? Filthy intruders! Filthy intruders! Squawk! To arms! To arms! Uh, 
uh, these things are not following you, IGU. Oh, we're just dragging them along then? All right. Sounds like FF Tactics music. I haven't played Tactics in a very long time. I should. I should replay that. I want to see their faces. Turn around. Do they have Mind Flayer lips? Face tentacles? I've never played Tactics Advance. I should at some point. Oh, that went down fast. Hell, the hell was that drainage pump uh, working on? Watch out for a tail screw. Anyone who has it will get one shot. Ooh. Carl Boss. All right, I'm ready. That almost took down our healer. Wow, I got Thundercloud as uh, Thunder 3 expired. Ow. Thanks for the Asuna. Forty percent, we're doing fine. Oh, tail screw one shots people who have the status effect. I see. Okay. Oh, there's our tank. Oh, that almost killed me. Holy crap. Ow. Ow. Oh, hey, I got 50% parry. Oh, my God. Leave me alone.
Oh, there goes the tank. I guess this is a wipe. Later, Sagfarum. I need someone to break the tether from me? There was a tether? What, uh, what tether are you talking about? It's an aim tether. Do we just walk between you and the boss? Yeah, good question. What do we do about it? Or start the fight instead of answering. All right. Just walk into it. Okay. <laughs> Get thunder back up. Fire three. All right, 44%. Thirty-two percent. Ah, there's the tether. All right, I see it now. Oh, he wants me. Ow! Yeah, keep targeting me with that, because he he immediately starts paying attention to other people. Oh, there's the tank. Got an aim tether on me. Ow. And there goes the healer. It's a touch transfer. What does that mean? Walk into you to take it. Okay. Well, 
Well, uh... Alright, who do we want on that duty? is going to do it. Cool. The best thing we can hope for is that he keeps doing the uh, cyclone on me because then he starts paying attention to other people and doesn't bother finishing me off because I'm so far away from him. Seventy percent. Sixty percent. Fifty percent. Forty percent. Forgot to put forgot to, forgot to maintain Thunder Three. Thirty percent. Twenty five. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Got him. Nice. Very nice. How's it going? Giant enemy crabs.
cool. Got Blizzard off to regenerate uh, my MP. Awesome. Oh, we've got a snake lady. We've got multiple snake ladies. Should I be avoiding damaging the brines? Because they seem to explode when hit. They heal her if they touch her. Gotta get the wench first. It's what summons the brines. Gotcha. You were right. Wench is down, brines are gone. Door to Dead Man's Drink. Hey, Madison's back. They are Mind Flayers. Get Thunder 3 on him. Ooh, ow! He's a Mind Flayer. Why is he still talking like a pirate? So this guy just ignores aggro, huh? Oh, I got out of the way of that. Oh, well. I've got a target on me. Why does he want me so badly? Oh, there goes our white mage.
Well, that mostly went well. You'd think the shortcut would take us closer to the fight. Oh my god. We practically had to walk the whole way. Thunder him. Drop another AoE. Oh, nope, the captain's boys are all dead already. Whoops. Alright, 80%. Seventy percent. Fifty percent. Forty percent. Twenty percent. Ow, 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 Oh, he ran off. Thanks for the raise. What's in this treasure coffer? Pass. Oh, wait. This is... What is this? That's not equipment. Yeah, was that an enraged timer? What was that? Maybe we should wait for our healer Swiftcast to come back. <laughs> we traded for class gear. Ah, okay. Can trade it for the eye level 90 class gear you got from your level 50 job quest. Okay, useless then.
All right, Swift Cast is one minute, not two minutes. My bad. Restoring MP, very good. Okay. Well, we're almost here. Man, these things hit hard. They're chunking IGU really hard. Why is this thing stuck at 0.1%? That was weird. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting stun locked. I've been chained. You're getting gangbanged. What is happening? Okay. Whew. There's a lot of enemies. And they're all dead. Okay, well. Is he gonna get ambushed by a Sahagan Lord again? Or are we gonna actually fight Captain Madison this time? You've done well to make it this far, but you'll wish you hadn't. Your trusty pedal something. Release the Kraken! <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. No, not the bird. The bird was cute. So is it just... Well, there's no platforms for us to jump between. Okay, so do we focus the tentacles or do we focus him? I guess we focus the tentacles. The 
You remember when you were mad about not getting to actually fight the Kraken? Yep. Well, now we get to actually fight the Kraken. Do we go for the tentacles or kill the tentacles first? Thought so. Get the tentacles or to enrage. Ooh, okay. I'll apply thunder to the Kraken. Oh, 0.1%? Come on. Okay. Apply Thunder to the Kraken. For the Cloud. Oh, there goes our tank. Uh oh. Apply Thunder. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, I've been grabbed. And I've been thrown. Oh, I've been thrown into the AoE. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't hurt too bad. Apply Thunder to the Kraken. Oh, we lost Milena. Down. All right, that's all the tentacles. Reapply thunder to the Kraken. This fight's actually kind of annoying. Stop interrupting me. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Stay away from me. All right, reapply thunder to the Kraken. Oh, I'm out of MP. Right. The cloud. Fire starter. Apply Thunder to the Kraken. Oh, 
Kraken cannot bring its arms to bear against you. Excellent. Oh, no, there we go. We're going to apply Thunder to the Kraken. Ow, 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 ow. Holy shit, holy shit! Oh, I've been grabbed. Right into the AoE. And I've been blinded. All right. Reapply Thunder to the Kraken. Oh, he's at 10% health. Cracking arms, nothing. Okay. Five percent. Uh, I'm gonna drop a limit break on him. Oh, somebody else has the limit break. All right. Hey, challenge complete. Dungeon master. Cool. And dead. Nice. Da, 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 da. So a good place to take a picture. Uh Does anyone want a G pose for us? But it's significantly easier with higher damage because the more tentacles are alive, the more bullshit is going on at any given time. So the faster they die, the faster things get easy. Yeah, that fight was mostly just annoying, right? Like... Uh, G-Pose is not a skill I possess. All right, uh, Milena or IGU, are either of you good at G-Pose? Uh, IGU appears to be G-posing. Okay, cool. Thank you, IGU. If you can post the results of what you do in stream chat on the server, I will take a look. No, you can't do it either. Uh, Alright, well, no pictures today then. Oh well. Alright, let's head out then. Alright, that's two of the four down. Ah, you are returned. Tell me, were you able to identify our intruders? Identified and killed. Men who looked like jellyfish. And you say that they were Captain Madison and his crew? This is decidedly odd. But I know better than to doubt you. I will have the bodies retrieved for study, that we might be better prepared to face such enemies in future. Your work here is done, friend. Pray, make your way to Aleport. Commodore Raynor awaits news there, and will doubtless be glad of a first-hand account. All right, Raider. I have already received word of your success. You do not disappoint, Lore. Sir, a body has arrived for inspection. 
What, just in the street? This... This thing used to be a man? God speak good. How did this happen? A sight to turn the stomach. Tis well I haven't eaten. My lady, thank you for granting us your valuable time and expertise. Do I know this lady? Commodore, allow me to introduce Miss Sayana, foremost among the celebrated Professor Lambertain's students. Oh, that is Madison. Oh, let us not stand on ceremony. Friends, this man's unnatural, unnatural form can be attributed, I believe, to the excess absorption of water-aspected ether. A living being can only absorb a certain quantity of ether before suffering adverse effects. To be altered so drastically requires a fatal dose, yet our subject here lived long enough to be struck down. A most peculiar case indeed. I have heard that a primal creates thralls by showering mortals with its own ether. Could this be an extension of that process? I dare say you have struck the mark, Commodore. Yeah, her name and countenance seem familiar. So if she's from the corrupted crystal bullshit from 2.0, then that makes sense. If being exposed once to a primal's ether is enough to corrupt the mind, tis plausible that repeated exposure corrupts the flesh. Madison and his crew had failed to hold Sastasha for their Sahagin overlords, and I suspect that this was their punishment. The fishback's depravity knows no bounds. To think that creatures capable of such cruelty lurk nearby. I shan't get another wink of sleep while I am here. Have no fear, my lady. My yellow jackets are sworn to protect Aleport and her denizens. And in light of recent developments, you may be certain that we will redouble our vigilance. Your words give me heart, Commodore. And, as previously agreed upon, by way of payment for my services, I shall hold on to this specimen for my research. We're definitely going to fight Madison again at her bidding, aren't we? She just walks off, lugging Madison's giant body. Okay, so that's number two. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. My throat is a little sore. I'm going to have a drink of water. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And then we'll do the Soaken Temple of Card Hard. Burb. Before I go, I'll answer this question. Any plans of streaming Persona 2 again these days? Uh, I'm going to eventually, but... I have a lot of um, streams I have to do for my patrons coming up, so it won't be for a couple of weeks uh, that I'll be able to do so again, unfortunately. So uh, it won't be for a little while, Rai Kebab. I understand if that's why you followed me if you want to unfollow. Uh, anyways, I'll be right back for real this time. Oh, right, there were ads running while I was saying that. Uh, Vry Kebab. Uh, I'll say it again then. Uh, give it like 20 seconds just to make sure the ads are done.
Okay, so uh, I am going to stream more Persona 2, but it's not going to be for a couple of weeks. Uh, I have, you can see my schedule on my Discord server in the uh, stream announcements channel. Uh, I have a bunch of streams that I have to do for my patrons, my Patreon patrons, uh, coming up for the next few weeks. Um, and I don't have an open day for uh, for at least a couple of weeks. So uh, I won't be getting back to Persona 2 immediately, but I do intend to play more of it. If uh, if you don't want to wait that long, I understand if you unfollow, and uh, if that was the reason you followed in the first place. Um, but I will get back to it, I promise.
All right, I'm back. Up next, we have the Sunken Temple of Karn Hard from Hugobert and Mordona. Back we go. Hugobert! The Wrath of Karn. <laughs> oh, that's 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 a funny reference. Ah, there's an industrious ant. Who you call it an ant? I'm the boot. An adventurer in need of a bit of business, if I'm not mistaken. The ant hill you want is Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. Something's kicked it over, good. They've put out word for adventurers. Have skill, will move fast, that sort of thing. Perfect for you, I'll warrant. The client, bit of a handful, a mind aggressive, but nothing you can't handle. The twins. You'll find them at the Miners Guild. Talk to Cesaruka. He's the milder of the two. All right, to the Miners Guild. Oh, you're going to join us, Danny. Cool. Oh, what am I doing? The ether, uh, the etherite is how I get to the ethernet. Duh. All right, Miner's Guild. Set up done so I can just jump in. Yeah, I'll join the voice chat. One sec. Get my headphones on. Bring chat back up. Do you want us to wait, um, wait for you to do the Wrath of Karn? Heard about a petition, have you? And you'll do as we ask, no questions asked. No, I'm going to ask questions. Great attitude. Now then, the situation's like this. No, this isn't right. I'll be damned if I put our sister's fate in a stranger's hands. I'm going myself. Oh, brilliant plan, brother. Go blundering into the sunken temple of Karn. The place is a death trap. What guarantees do we have that this adventurer can beat those traps? None, that's what. But you know better than any what these muscles are capable of. Yeah, swinging a pick is different from shoving fireballs up a monster's ass. What the hell do you mean you've beaten those traps already? Wait. You're the reason Neneko's in this trouble. I'm gonna end you, I swear it. Alright, you're gonna have to explain that. Are you blaming me for clearing the way for her? Calm yourself, brother. This adventurer is not to blame for what happened. Besides, she's perfect for the task. Let's start again, shall we? I am Cesaruka, and this is my twin brother, Papa Cooley. And, as you may have gathered, we need you to mount a rescue mission in the sunken Temple of Karn. After you defeated the temple's snares and traps, the place was officially open for business... Uh, I mean, research. The Concern partnered with the Order of Nald Thal to fund an expedition. I and the research team was led by none other than Neneko, our little sister... She's the one who wrote the book on the ruins of Sildi. The research to end all other research on the place. I like it you're proud of your sister. That's sweet. Nobody except her was going to figure out that Sildi and Uldar are both descended from the Voladian civilization. The sunken temple of Karn is the native rock. No way in seven hells was she going to not lead that expedition. But who comes bubbling in? A band of relic raiders, that's who. 
The greedy whore son set off a trap, and now our little sister is stuck in the stinking place. Poxy bastards putting Nedeko in danger. If they aren't Tonberry mints already, you can be sure that I'll end them myself. That's the situation as it stands. Talk to Bibimu at the entrance to the temple, and she'll let you in. You go and get Nedeko out of there in one piece, you hear? The rest of the researchers are optional, though. I like that they've got mirrored heterochromia. All right, to the Sunken Temple of Karn. To Little Olamigo, I guess. Nope, not this way. This way. Alright, this, this should really have me sitting all the way back in the chair. Serenity True Shot. Good luck with that. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, hey, a Thaumaturge. Welcome to the stately ruin that was, and is, the Sunken Temple of Karn. What a relief they actually sent someone who's been here and knows the drill. The twins? They can be a little uh, overbearing. They'll need some of that imperiousness soon enough, though, when it falls on them to run the concern. In case you didn't know, those two were the chairman's progeny, them and Miss Nedeko. You will find it much changed within, thanks to those fool robbers. Take care, but not so much that you cannot make haste. The sunken temple of Karn, hard, now accessible. Alright, does anyone in chat want to swap in, or are we good with these four? I'll give it just a minute to hear. Melina's a dancer, right? That's what that emblem is? No samurai. Ah. Draken's dead. The Katana Guard. Oh, I see it now. Viewed from above. Or viewed from the point of the sword. Alright. Well, we haven't uh, got anybody coming in, so duty find there. So I can Temple of Karn, hard. Adventurers fear not danger, scholars care not for comfort, and miners like not unturned stones. Thus was born the unlikely partnership between the Order of Nalthal and Abagina and Sons' mineral concern in the wake of a certain adventurous conquest of the Sunken Temple's notorious traps. But the dead of Karn left many snares, more than enough for a thousand years of greed. And now a Tomb Raider's fevered dream of riches has stranded the joint expedition in a place where history has a tendency to come alive. Did some wild runs as great on this one. Good luck, Cynthia. Oof. Uh, all right. Ready, check up. There we go. Okay, duty find air. Got it selected. Okay, join. 
The Sunken Temple of Karn. Hard. Oh, this is the place with the uh, with the block monsters you have to lead to switches, isn't it? At least in the normal version. Hey, there he is. Hello. How's it going? I'm all right. I'll, uh, I'll channel my navigation persona for you. <laughs> Looking cool, Law. So you had birthday stuff today, right? Mm-hmm. How'd that go? Sorry, just hit my head. Uh, it went really well. I stopped over at my best mate's place. Uh, um, we and uh, the, um, he, me, and our other best friends um, all went to the Leeds Royal Armouries together. Oh, nice. It's basically a museum of weapons and armor. A really good time. My body did not like me, though. I, uh, between not having my sleep apnea mask, having to get up early because uh, my best mate has a one-year-old, um, and the antibiotics that I'm on completely taking out of me, my body is just like, oh, you should die, please. <laughs> well, please don't. <laughs> By the way, for the first boss, you will probably want to zoom out because you will need a full view of this. Oh, All right. Oh, the land is down. Uh oh. Exactly 999 damage. Nice. Temple Fox. Oh, it's a flying fox. Cute. I am back in the top 1,000 of Mount Hunters on my data center. Nice. What did it take? Um, spending 50 million on a, on a, on a metallic gorilla. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I am now 927th place on Chaos. Man, it, uh, it, the, the requirements for Digivolving have really gone up in the last 20 years. I know, right? Um, I'm 125th on my, we my my world, and globally I'm 5,553rd. Nice. I almost wish I was two points oh, lower. Oh, floor traps. All right, the Lord's Labyrinth it is. <laughs> All right, sorry, I uh, I interrupted you there. What were you saying? Um, that I, I almost wish I was um, two ranks lower, so I'd be five, 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 five. Huh. Uh, fun fact about this room is the floor traps can hurt the enemies as well. I noticed. This is very useful. Down we go. Crunch. 
Alright. Defeat the damaged adjudicator. I take it that pile of rubble is its body? Yeah, the adjudicator was the final boss of the original Sunken Temple of Khan. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I remember now. Part will glow, hit the glowing part, then kill mobs, avoid quicksand. Yep. Um... That's why you need to zoom out a bit so you can actually see the glowing part. How? Oh. Things ass, got it. Alright, drop a thunder two. Oh, I've got a thing above my head. Oh, quicksand. Oh, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Okay. Oh, thanks for the rescue, Cynthia. Right as I got out. Yeah, you get, get stacks of six full under, which uh, are the pictures you fall, falling lower and lower into it. Yeah, I noticed. Got it. Let me see which of its parts is glowing. Well, too late to find out now. Oh, it's losing parts now. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, come on, come on, go down, go down, go down. Got it! You're welcome. Most I've used scathe in like a year. Trying to remember to do that. Well, that's a funky uh, statue enemy. Oh, bye, Melina. Remember to use regen, Cynthia. Unless you have been, and I just haven't noticed.
three. This thing's practically a boss. I'm pretty sure it is a boss in a bunch of Kirby games. Starter, back to fire one. Wizard three, wizard one, fire three. Play the Sabo Tender Emperatriz. The Cactuar boss, cool. Um, focus the ads. Pretty much it. Gotcha. Bigger they are, the more important. Oh, this again, alright. Just gonna drop a Thunder 3 on these assholes. Or Thunder 2. Oh, the hands are already dead. Okay. Three to get my MP back. Cool. Uh, Malena's going to BRB. Good, because I'll take a drink of water. Man, this is dramatic music. I like it.
Lillian is back. Okay, cool. Alright, so focus the ads then. We'll be the pop a ready check. We'll pop a ready check. Cool. Let's go. Oh, the way they move is very silly. That's nice cactus, boys. Oh, more ads immediately. All right. Yeah. Um... You'll notice she's building up a um, hundred thousand needles. By killing the ads, you distract her enough to loot her, make her lose count. Ah, that's <laughs> funny. Oh, by the way, the two twins that you meet, you, 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 that you got the quest from. Uh huh. They're actually acquaintances of Flamin. Oh, cool. Do you remember that she was involved in a scheme to unleash a Gubu into Uldar that they that they would defeat and try try to convince? Uh huh. Convince them to join the war effort. It's pretty core to uh, her character arc. Yep. They were in on it with her. Oh. Suddenly I like them a lot less. Oh, our tank's dead. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, he's back. Cool. What is this tether? It's a... Uh, character guard. It's uh, kind of like... Like cover. Basically, he's protecting the queen. Gotcha. And she counted fast. Yeah, gotta prioritize the big ones. So I should stop doing AoEs and focus down that guy? Pretty much. Gotcha. Best since you're in my level. So I made an annoying discovery. Remember how we turned off um, dynamic camera turning or whatever it's called? So that I wouldn't yeah. get spun around with the Red Mage backdash? Well, that means that turning my character doesn't turn my camera, which was super annoying. <laughs> so I had to turn it back on. I guess I'll turn it off whenever I turn into a red mage. Hey, what's up? To be fair, if need be, you can probably just use the... Um... I think it's engagement rather than just be disengage. You just said the same thing twice. Disengagement versus disengagement? No, the, no like the engagement rather than disengagement. Like, I can't remember what it's called. Um, let me check. Uh, yeah. In, in, okay, yeah. Engagement rather than displacement. Uh, in, engagement is the same power and the same charges as displacement. Is in fact. But, um, it's, it doesn't move you after the birds. So you really only need to worry about displacement when you are literally desperate to move. Focus 
next to the big guy. Oh, he's not taking a lot of damage. Okay, she lost count. Good. Got her. Star Sphere and solve the magic's trap. Time to draw blocks on the switches again, I guess. You can tell how magic it is because they're spelling it with a K. Ha! <laughs> Even these scams, dear. Rosarium of Lalafuto the first. A magic pedestal, huh? Oh wow, Scathe actually does a lot more damage than I expected it to. I just looked at its damage number for the first time. Yeah, it's not too bad at this stage in the game. Oh, 
no. Oh no? What? What's oh no? You, you know, uh, badge, 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 mushroom. Yeah, 20 years ago yesterday. Yeah. We're so old. Surprises from the year we met. Uh, I do. This guy isn't grabbed. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's what you were doing over there before. Slay the Vicerant to the Warden. Oh, this guy's a little intimidating. The other guys were just heads. How come this guy gets to have a body? Avoid the mummies, got it. Yeah, you're gonna wanna zoom out so you can see them coming. If you get mummified, you leave for a while and become one yourself. Ooh. Alright, apply thunder. Targetable? They are not. Okay, just gonna stay out of their way. We got about eighty percent. Seventy percent. It's just there. Oh, there was one going uh, perpendicular to it. Okay, I was hiding behind this guy. Past fifty percent, and impure light. What's that do? All right, so copper guy, uh, light of you.
Uh oh. Ow. Elena, look out. Fifteen percent. Should I drop a limit break on his ass? I'm gonna drop a limit break on him. Ow! Well, I did my damage. Got him. Okay. Didn't drop Mummy's Little Mummy. Oh, it can drop a pet called Mummy's Little Mummy? That's cute. Yeah, it's adorable. You're the ones who caused all that commotion, aren't you? Twelve sakes, walk softly. I just saved your ass. Calm down. Non-intrusive first and systematic always. Never forget. Now then, who are you? One of the apprentice haulers? No, I'm the lady who just saved your ass. Who? Huh? Yes, I'm Nenico, but why would anyone be looking for me? What? Ancient traps have been triggered. I had no idea. I'm not the most observant of people, you see. I alone ventured into the deepest section of the temple, for the work there requires the most delicate of touches. I was completely oblivious to the commotion until you came. What of the members of my expedition? Please tell me they are safe. Scarcely any survivors. Gods be good. I had known that we were come to a dangerous place, but all those lives... But this is neither the time nor place for mourning. Let us quit this place. I have a duty to notify our backers of this incident. Meanwhile, might I ask you to go and tell Popo and Sese that I am fine? Yeah, sure, it's part of the job. All right, let's go to Popo and Sese. Guild. Merlin Pilled Based. There's a tight. Oh, no, t that's the guild name. Okay. I was like, base? Since when is there a title like that? Check out Melinda's Minion. Uh, Mummy's Little Mummy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yes, where's Neneko? You'd better have good news, or I'll let my brother do this his way. My dear brothers. Well, if you're just going to show up in the middle of their conversation, what do you need me to tell them for? I've worried you, haven't I? I am sorry. But as you can see, there's nothing to be concerned about. Neneko! Neneko! We've been so worried about you. Aye, we'd feared the worst. It's so good to see your face. I must thank you again, good adventurer. 
After we parted ways, I sent for a search party. We were able to rescue the survivors. Oh, Lollifel curtsies are cute. Nenico, from now on, I'm going to accompany you on all expeditions. Those Balanigans were real bastards about booby traps. It's not safe for you alone. Brother, she won't be alone because I'm going with her. Brothers, brothers, you forget your duty. Your place is with the concern. You're right that the temple is dangerous, but I can make it safe. All you need is to believe. Can you, though? We must look at the causes, the twin causes, yeah, of today's incident. The people's belief that within lie magical relics and that the ruins are now safe to traverse. Those temple raiders are already telling tales of deadly ancient traps in every tavern. But we'll let it be known it's no ordinary danger that awaits. The Order of Nald Thal has agreed to vehemently deny that the temple's relics are cursed, that tales of looters found horribly dead afterwards are baseless. That should give instant credence to the opposite and end the looting. For a while, at least. Oh, that's clever, actually. Nenico, you're brilliant! I may be the strongest one, but you've got the goods upstairs. Right you are about our sister, puny brother. And I'm not going to stoop to stating the obvious. They say history is the gristle of the past. But in these ruins, the past is fleshed out again. That is what I love about this work. I won't let the raiders despoil the place. The ruins are not a mine to be dug and blasted for gill. If they want gold or gems, let them join the Miners' Guild and toil for them. Completed. Hey, there's Danny. Hello. I was stood next to you at Khan as well. Next to who? I was stood next to you at Khan as well. Oh, gotcha. At Karn, okay. It sounded like you were saying Akan. Okay. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to talk to him. Uh, okay. So, uh, oh, IGU left. So, uh, I guess IGU has volunteered to leave to bring Danny in. Let me invite you. All right, then. Uh, okay. Last quest. Wanderer's Palace Hard. Uh, I've already got that quest, I believe. Not yeah, easy being the... green, yes. Yeah, Enter the, the uh... Wanderer's Palace. It's the one that we... Well, we the gay couple asked us, asked us to help out. Yep. Alright, Wanderer's Palace Hard. There we are. Bound no more by the rancor of their fallen king, the Tonberries have regained their senses, with a little help from devoted friends. Yet all thoughts of peace have been put to the blade, as a band of Mamul Ja mercenaries, known as the Silver Scales, have stormed the walls and seized the place for their own. Someone must stop the cell swords from turning the Wanderer's Palace into an unassailable fortress and take a stand against Todbury's slaughter and slavery. Hell yeah, let's kick some ass. All right. Wanderer's Palace hard. A suggestion we make lore healer for this one? Uh, I'm not a confident healer. Especially not at, at uh, level 50 dungeons. With that item level synced. Yeah, with minimum item level, no, I'm not. I'm not confident in that. I'll I'll keep being a black mage. We should do a stream where I just do uh, dungeons as a healer, at some point. That I think would be pretty fun slash funny. Make for good content anyway. Um, but not today. All right, everybody's a class they want to be. Duty Finder. Wanderer's Palace Hard. Let's begin.
Oh, right, they're tiny Tonberries now, so they aren't the giant stabby kind that could have just soloed these guys. <laughs> By beating the king, we got rid of the Rancor. Come to help us or hurt us? No, I'm here to help, little guy. Wax slaves, work, no rest for you. No, no more. You defend Tonberries? Bothers me that his health bar is purple because he engaged the Tonberry before us. <laughs> Orange for me. All these little Tonberries, very cute. I never thought I'd be calling Tonberries cute, but I actually bought a uh, Tonberry uh, plushie at FortCon a couple months ago. I don't have it on a shelf or anything because I don't have space at the moment. Once I get a, a bookshelf to put my games in, I'm going to empty them off the top of my uh, entertainment center and start putting, like, uh, decorations there instead. But for now, I don't have the space. This is pretty uh, uplifting music. No way, run away. Haha, <laughs> green one's funny. You die now. Oh, these guys are jerks. According to supplementary stuff like the Encyclopedia Riosia and just some NPC conversations, uh, these guys are from the New World, the continent to the West. Oh, cool. Here's a boss. Frumius Coheal Jaw. That's a Bandersnatch. Alright, drop Thunder 3 on him. Uh, every time I see a every time I heard the name Bandersnatch, I think of the ones from Fantasy 9, the ones that look like, like big fluffy dogs. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Ow. I was on my way around to fight the ad, but it was already dead by the time I got halfway around. 
Is the deal he stops targeting the tank when the spear is out? No. Um. The um the spear starts uh, radiating um raid wise that cause a bleeding effect. Ah, I gotcha. You don't need to move to hit the ads. I do actually because the way targeting works on controller, I have to be able to um, direct my uh, my camera at them. Oh, I didn't see that spear. Oof, we've got three stacks of the burning lead effect. Oh, he's okay. at 30%. This guy teaches a blue magic spell. Oh, which one? Uh, Blazing Angon, the one he uses to put down the, the, the spear traps. Set. Spear. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one. Oh no, maybe not. Nope. Got him. Actually, use the striking charges from here on my edge of samurai. Oh, nice. What is this AoE on the ground? It buffs them. Hence why I'm moving them out of the area. Selfish, huh? Oh, now the rest of them are back road. All part of the plan. Because we don't want them in there. True. He just knows kick up in his plan. Yeah, they have a damage up and a vulnerability down while they're in that area. So they do more and take less. Come on, Sophist, you too. Ow! Oh, no. Oh, uh-oh. I got caught by Neewee. My fault. Alright, get my MP back. I feel clever for doing that. 
This might have been <laughs> the obvious thing to do. To be fair, you haven't always done the obvious thing. Three to get my MP back. Slithy Zolu Jaw. If you put down totems, we put this. Uh, each color has a different effect. One of them will turn you into a frog or Ooh. back again. And he has a spell that makes you a frog. So um, basically, you need to remember which color turns you into turns you into and back from a frog. So when he turns you into one, you can turn back using it. Does it change each time you fight him? Or is it just like the green one? It changes each time you fight him. Gotcha. I like all the um, uh, Jabberwock references in this dungeon. So basically, I should walk into the puddles to test, um, right? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Fruminous and slithy. Right. Never really thought about that. Uh, do we have any idea which which one was which? Uh, no, they both disappeared by the time I got to them. I, I got heavy, but I, they spawned it on top of me, so I didn't actually get to see what color it was. Uh, fire is down. Is Green, Green is toad. Is... Okay. Uh, okay. I am frog. I love it. I need green. Give me green. Okay, I am untoated. I love being a toad. It's so cute. <laughs> Fifty percent. That's a lot of damage.
45. Twenty. Toaded. Green. Unfortunately, I am no longer Toad. Ow! <laughs> Of those who have slain. Oh no, a dead Toadberry! Multiple dead Toadberries! Oh, that's awful. Any other game, you would not be saying that. Yep. Like, Oh, thank goodness. Free the imprisoned Tallberries, hell yeah. Asylum key. Can I get the other one? Let me out. Thank you. Okay, now we follow them. Yeah, this way I'll be faster. Pollen? Oh, we've been poisoned. Managed to open the valve thanks to getting rid of him. <laughs> that poor frog is literally named um, Dragon Food. What dragons are eating them here? Question. Maybe Ayata back um, back when they were still inhabiting Grey Fox's long stop. Uh, pass on that. Maybe a device. 
Vit, make some mola jaw jaw. You don't hear Jabberwock references in, in stuff often enough, I feel. I suppose it's because it's usually a reference within a reference to or already to um, Alistair and the last. Yeah, Fermius, yeah. Slithy, and Mangsum are all uh, adjectives from the Jabberwock poem. To be fair, it didn't really click with me until you mentioned it. Oh, he's a big boy! A double-headed big boy? Well, that's freaky. Oh, his second head is off center. All right, so uh, white mage, heal the purple head, but not the red head. It'll do damage. <laughs> okay, shall we? Yes. Smash them, brother? It's a pulp, yes, it's a pulp. Oh, I got, I got caught by that. Ow. If you usually get out faster by running towards the boss as you go sideways, because it's a cone. Okay, I'm going to move him out of the buff area. Brother, they doomed with no healing. Shh, keep Trixie secret to yourself. Eighty percent. How? Should I be uh, killing the uh, totems? Uh, the standards don't not aren't really worth killing, but there is something he puts down that is worth killing. All right. I got the rotting lungs debuff. Yeah, that's the uh, the heal or die. And I get that removed by just getting healed to full. Yeah. Okay, the idol needs to be destroyed. On it. It's giving a massive. Yeah, I'm gonna take him back over to the edge so that uh, I need healing. Take as much as uh, so yeah, I need to be healed. No, you don't have the doom effect. Oh. Oh, ads. Lovely. Not anymore, you're not. Oh, I don't think I got out in time. Nope. Thirty-three percent. Not a 
I'm out, I'm out of mitts right now. Ah, that's embarrassing. Thought we'd have that. Oh, idle. I'm gonna die again. Oh, you're back up. Okay. Whoa. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. He's got my favorite unmitigated, te un, un, un telegraphed tank busters. Twenty percent. Both of the DPS are down, and there's an idol. This is a wipe. Well, that's awkward. I'm going to need to. Honestly, I'm probably better off just dying. Oh, did you on. did you attack him? No, no, I resurrected right next to him. Uh, don't accept the teleport in. I resurrected as you guys died. So I resurrected with full sickness for two minutes and all of my cooldowns off, off, off um, waiting to recharge. So I'm just going to die and then um, and then run back. Because otherwise, I have nothing. Man, this is a long walk back. Yeah. Maybe we should start killing some of the standards. Um, it'll, it'll slow down killing Mola Jaw, but um, he had filled he filled the arena with buff areas by the we, time we, we died. We still had most. We still had quite a bit of space. Um. <coughs> Killing yeah, the standards just... won't help, he puts them down too fast? Alright. Yeah, about the time we killed one, we'll put another one down. They take forever to kill even on normal. Okay, let's try this again then. Alright, let's dance. him to the edge first. Oh shit. Yeah, try not to be too far away from this guy. Because you, you'll just not be able to escape his um his clue. I have been doomed. Alright, 80%. If 
by Thunder again. Oh, I did make it out. That just by the skin of my teeth. 70%. Oh, I don't... Back over the... Oh, I did not get out of there in time. Neither did Cynthia. Oh, our white mage has been stunned. Uh oh. Sorry for Cynthia, I'm needing a lot of healing because there's only so much I can emit. Oh, idle. I was at, like, I was out of mitts there. Oh, I got interrupted. Uh oh. Oh, I, I was the only one left up. Okay. Whoops. It was bad timing that he got the idol at the same time his ad spawned. Yeah, if that happens again, I'll use my inborn. Yeah, I should probably stay closer to him, too. healing ship. Huh. Cool, let's go. Then do it. I am no longer do it. No, thanks a lot, but I'm kind of glad you were here. None taken. I have not experienced enough of healing to handle this. <laughs> Halfway done. Idle. Yeah, I'm going to go. Idle's down. Adds.
further applied. Pleasure three. Oh, I was out there, that. Thirty percent. Twenty percent. Ten percent. We've got him. Yeah, like I said, plenty of space with the, um, the standards. Bless you. <laughs> Got him. Da 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 da. Oh, what just got cut off. Ah! <laughs> it cut off the victory fanfare for this. Oh, we look horrified. <laughs> I take it that fight is stupid easy if you're not on minimal item level. As long as, as, long as the tank doesn't keep them in, inside the buff zone, otherwise it becomes a nightmare. All right, nobody leave, because we now have the opportunity to uh, take a picture. Hi. Uh, we need to figure out where, though. We've already taken one in this room. That's true, but well, let's take one with out. the Toddberries. Yeah. You know, just sit, right, sit with them. Sit. Awesome. That is cute. I like it. We'll use that. Yeah, the fact that you seem to have me have yourself clicked on me makes it look like you're actually looking at Tonberry. Oh, is that why I'm turned that way? Fair enough. Yeah. That works out very well then. All right. Well, uh, that's it for this then. Let's head out. We have saved the Tonberries. Tonberries. No more tonsillitis. Wait. To Camp Bronze Lake. Have you swept the cell swords out of the palace? <laughs> That's a splendid lass. Our thanks to you for saving the Tawdbees, honest. Allow me to add my thanks to his, miss. You have our gratitude on behalf of the Tawdberries as well. I think they truly deserve succor. Can you imagine losing your entire being to hatred? Little wonder the Tawdberries became monsters. Neither of us are strangers to hate. Growing more spiteful with each passing day is sadly the province of those who are shunned by all around them. Yet malice will turn us all to monsters. A Tonberry told me as much one day. It gave me pause to think of wandering for ages with a heart ruled by rancor. 
Ay, the Tonbys have known more than their fair share of our times. So from here on out, we want to make sure where they live stays a sanctuary. Fortunately, while there's venturers like yourself about to knock invaders out, we won't have to fear the for the Tonbys. Now, we're off for a right old reunion. Good fortune to you, friend. And there they go. They're cute. They're a good couple. All right. Well, that's the last of the Aroma Board dungeons. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, I wonder what do you think we should do for the next Dungeons with Fans? Should I just uh, should I just there get are... people together and do random dungeons? There are heavens or dungeons. No, oh, that's true. That is true. There'll also be some Stormblood ones when it comes to that. But uh, after that, there's um, there's only two non-story ones for um, Shadowbringers and then Walker. Well, that seems like a missed opportunity. It, it's um, it's there's it's not that there's less dungeons. It's just they're all tied to the plot now. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, no, what were you about to say? I was just going to say, which results in them often being, um, really quite interesting. Cool. Everything has less dungeons than ARR? That's a fair point. That is a fair point. 3.0 yeah. onwards are just expansions, not the main game. Um, all right, well, uh, that's what we're going to do for today. Uh, next week, uh, Minda and Danny should both be here, so we'll be doing um, the uh, anniversary celebration. And then class quests after that. Unless you'd like to start on Hildebrand. Uh, Hildebrand, I want... Um, Hildebrand will be the uh, stream after next. Okay. Because I want to start the stream with Hildebrand and go through a whole stream with Hildebrand. All right. Uh, there's also the Scholastica quests. The who? The Scholastica quests. They are... Um, um, Ryodyne themed. Oh. Um, showing him in an actual serious situation what his life is normally like. Do you think I should do uh, Heaven's Word Hildebrand or Heaven's Word Briardine first? They are completely independent. As long as you've, um, as long as you've done Realmborn um, Hildebrand, you are able to access either of them. Cool. Well, maybe we'll do Hildebrand first and then Briardine. Okay. Um. But yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Well, in that case, that's where we're going to end for today. Uh, I'll read my schedule off and then get off. But first, I would like to plug my Patreon. You can find my Patreon either in the description of the YouTube video or with the exclamation point Patreon command in Twitch chat. I make a living off of Patreon. It's my sole source of income, and I make enough to pay my rent and my bills. But I don't make much beyond that. And I'd really like to have something in savings for emergencies. Medical emergencies, if I need to replace stuff. And I haven't had that for a very long time. So if you could go to my Patreon and pledge a dollar a month or a dollar per stream or anything in between. Or more per stream if you really want to help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys who pledge to my Patreon make it so I can do this strange, silly job for a living. I'm grateful to each and every one of you who pledge. Because... You're why I'm here. You're why I have the career I do. And I love it. So, thank you. As for my schedule, tomorrow will be Pokemon Rejuvenation for a patron. Uh, we'll be doing that with uh, Love, who will actually be on call with me, because she's part of the stream crew. Monday will be Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for a patron. 
Tuesday will be Wild Arms 3 for a patron. Wednesday will be Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma for a patron. Thursday will be Wild Arms 3 for a patron. Next Friday will be Baldur's Gate 3 for a patron. Gonna start that. Uh, and then next Saturday will, of course, be our weekly Final Fantasy XIV stream, where we'll be doing the anniversary uh, event and some class quests. So uh, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Ciao.